In the relentless world of political commentary, few figures spark as much controversy as MSNBC's Joy Reid. Her latest claims about Donald Trump's grandchildren, made after watching their appearances at the RNC convention, have ignited yet another firestorm. As Reid compared Trump's family dynamics to those of President Joe Biden, her remarks drew sharp reactions from both sides of the political aisle. What lies at the heart of Reid's contentious statements? Let's delve into the intricate details of this unfolding drama. Joy Reid, known for her provocative and often polarizing commentary, recently suggested that Donald Trump's grandchildren do not share a loving relationship with the former president. This claim emerged during a discussion on her show where she contrasted Trump's private life with that of President Joe Biden. Donald Trump has grandkids too, but the physical interactions that they had at the convention felt so cold and sort of clinical, Reid observed. Her assertion that it didn't feel real and the notable absence of Melania Trump added fuel to her argument that the Trump family lacks the visible closeness of the Bidens. Reid's comments came shortly after the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee, where Trump's grandchildren were prominently featured. Kai Trump, his eldest granddaughter, gave a heartfelt speech about her relationship with her grandfather. Meanwhile, his four-year-old granddaughter Caroline was seen on Trump's lap, charming the audience, as her older brother Eric Loop joined in the cheers for their father, Eric Trump. Despite these warm public displays, Reid maintained that the interactions appeared contrived, sparking a broader conversation about the authenticity of political family portrayals. In contrast, Joe Biden is famously close to his six grandchildren, a fact often highlighted during his public appearances. However, it's worth noting that Biden does not have a known relationship with Hunter Biden's five-year-old daughter with London Roberts, a point that complicates the narrative of familial unity. Reid's comparison underscores her broader critique of the Trump family, suggesting a staged and superficial closeness compared to the genuine warmth of the Bidens. Reid's controversial remarks didn't stop with the Trump grandchildren. She recently warned black Americans that they could be shunned by their communities if they don't support Kamala Harris in the upcoming presidential election. Her assertion that black voters would look real weird and real lonely if they did not back the woman of color extraordinaire stirred significant backlash. Reid's comments reignited tensions with black model Amber Rose, who had expressed support for Donald Trump at the Republican National Convention, further illustrating the deep divisions within the political and social landscape. Additionally, Reid faced criticism for her response to the recent assassination attempt on Donald Trump in Butler, Pennsylvania. Her skepticism about the incident, coupled with her comparison of President Biden's COVID diagnosis to Trump's near miss with a bullet, drew sharp rebukes from conservative commentators. Charlie Kirk, in particular, called for MSNBC to remove Reid from the air, labeling her theories as outrageous, insane, defamatory. Joy Reid's latest claims about Donald Trump's grandchildren have once again placed her at the center of a political maelstrom. Her observations, juxtaposing the Trump and Biden families, underscore the deep-seated divisions in American political discourse. As Reid continues to push boundaries with her provocative statements, the reactions she elicits highlight the intense and often contentious nature of contemporary political commentary. Whether one views her as a fearless truth-teller or a divisive figure, Reid's impact on the political conversation is undeniable, ensuring that her voice will continue to be a significant and polarizing presence in the media landscape.